everyone, welcome to a brand new workout. Today we're having three exercises that we're doing for five rounds and we're doing this as a time challenge. So keep your stopwatch ready, start it when you're starting the first exercise and stop it when you're done with the last exercise of the last round. I'm going to go through the exercises. First exercise, actually it's first and third exercise, is the side lunge. I will use kettlebells, you can use any additional weight, you can use a, a backpack that you're having on your back, you can use um, dumbbells, a bar, use what you can find if you want to add weight. You can absolutely do this without any additional weights as well, just with body weight, I will show you. But the exercise looks like this, you're going to go one step out to the side, Go down in a lunge and then back up in balance and then out the same side in a lunge and up again. Keep your chest up, keep your shoulders back, be sure that your back is straight and strong and go as low as feels natural for you. So put your leg out to the side, put your whole body weight over that leg. Push your hips back, chest up, go down as deep as you can, and then up in a balance. So see, you can do this without any additional weights. Next exercise is the frog jump push-up. So it looks like this. Go down to the push-up position here. Make sure that your hands is underneath your uh, shoulders and have a wide stand like this. Now, stretch out your chest, make sure you have a strong back, strong core, don't drop your hips, keep them up here, and now jump forward towards your arms, here, and then back, and then you will take the push up, here. Of course you can put your knees in, and you can of course step into the front position here, step back out, bend your knees, and do push up from your knees here. As long as you're challenging yourself, you're on the right track. So make sure that you're actually doing the workout more than that you're... Um, don't let this exercise or any other exercise keep you from doing the workout. Make it fit you, challenge yourself, and do this the best you can. Because you can get through this, and if you do this regularly, you will see results, okay? Third exercise again is the side lunge, only to the other side, so lunge out, get as deep, down as deep as you can, and then back up and balance like this. Last exercise is the, dry, the row and dragon lunge. I will use kettlebells, you can use a sandbag, you can use a bag of books, you can use dumbbells. Find something. I will start with the kettlebells down on the floor. You can use dumb dumbbells, just have them in your hands and start from here. What you do is that you bend your knees a little bit, push your chest forward, stretch it out like this, shoulders back and push your butt out, so that you will arch your back a little bit. Knees a little bit bent, remember. Then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna grab my kettlebells and drag them up here, squeezing my shoulder blades, dropping them back down, and then taking the lunge up back, putting them down beside my leg, and then up here and again row and to the other side lunge pick them up and rise up like this from the side it looks like this a little bend in the knee chest up butt out and then row squeezing the shoulder blades taking the lunge out back pushing them down 
Inhaling up, rising up like this. Tilting forward, row, lunge, pick up, and rise up like this. If it gets too complicated, concentrate on the rows like this. Okay? If you're a beginner, use as little weight as you need. Uh, if you don't have anything, just use your body weight like this. But then do row and lunge back. Row and lunge back. Like this. Okay? That was all exercises. Are you ready? Ready to go? I am, so I have my stopwatch nearby and I'm just going to start it and then I'll be going. Five rounds of this. Can you do it? I can do it, and I believe in you. So, get to it. down the kettlebells after a while, but okay, next round, I'm doing them with the kettlebells, I do, I do it, yeah. <laughs>
I dread the kettlebells. I'm reconsidering the kettlebells for the side lunges. They are hard. It's actually, it's worse than the core. Just keeping that balance, not tilting forward, not falling just to the ground, keeping my body up like this, it's hard. Hard for core. Okay, but it's third round. I've been breathing a little. I'm ready to go, right? Ready. Set. Go. I can do this. I'm strong. You're strong. You can get go through this. Okay. Just a little breathing, and then I'm on. That's so tough, I really want to quit. Do this. One more round. Can you do this? You can do this. Okay, let's go.
that I got through it. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself now. Remember, I wanted to, I wanted to skip those. By the first round, I got through all five. So, you, are you ready? Now that you watch me, you see how this goes? Whew. You see how hot you get when you're done? You know, sweaty and just really sweaty and heavy breathing and tired and really happy. I'm really happy. <laughs> and you can be too. Just do the workout, get to it. It's not that hard, it's just three simple exercises and you can absolutely do it. I believe in you. So, come back to the blog and tell me how it went because I really want to know if you get as tired as I got <laughs> and I want to know if you can beat my time. So, check us out later. We'll have more workouts to come every other day, four times a week. Are you ready? Because there's no turning back if you want to see results.